Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. Let's take one more example. Here you define the points on this curve at which the tangent is given. So till now what we have done, till now we were able to find the points on a particular graph where the slope of tangent is known. In the last two examples, in one case the slope of tangent was 0, in other case slope of tangent was that is equal to slope of chord and we have found the slope of chord and we were able to find the slope of tangent. So the, the crux here is we have to find the slope of tangent if you want to find the point where the slope has that particular or where the tangent has that particular slope. So here also my equation of tangent is given. An equation of tangent is nothing but y is equal to mx plus c form and if you compare these two my slope of tangent is nothing but 1. So with comparing these two I can find slope of tangent is nothing but 1. So my slope of tangent is 1, half battle is 1, I know slope of tangent, I can find the points. The points, how come? Because my slope of tangent is nothing but dy by dx at x is equal to x0. Correct? And this is nothing but 1. So if my y, if this is my equation, y is equal to x cube minus 11x plus 5. My dy by dx is nothing but 3x square, 11x become 11, 5 big, its constant will become 0. So this is nothing but 1, where x is equal to x0. So let me put x equal to x naught here. So this becomes 3x naught square minus 11 is equal to 1. Or I get x naught square is nothing but 1 plus 11 by 3. That is 12 by 3, that is 4. So my x naught is nothing but plus minus 2. It can be plus 2, it can be minus 2 also. So now same thing here, case 1. x naught is equal to plus 2. I'll find the value of y. So y is nothing but plus 2 cube x cube is plus 2 q minus 11 into 2 plus 5 that is 2 q become 8 11 into 2 is minus uh, 22 and plus 5 so this is nothing but what I get 20 uh, minus 22 plus 7 no minus 22 plus 13 right that is minus 9 and in the other case where x0 is equal to minus 2, my y will be nothing but x cube that is minus 2 cube minus 11 into minus 2 plus 5. That is minus 8 plus 22 plus 5. That is 27 minus 8. Right? That is 90. So my x0, y0 can have two values. One is x0 is 2. You get y as minus 9 correct or you would say x0 is minus 2 and you get y as 90 and that is my answer. Very simple. See here also we did the same thing we found the slope of tangent once we have the slope of tangent we found dy by dx at x equal to x0 and we equated that with the slope of tangent and we found the value of x0. So once we have x0 we found the value of y0. Let's take one more example. Here it is a different question altogether. Here instead of finding slopes of tangent or slope of normal, I have to find equation of line having slope 2 which are tangent. That is slope of tangent is 2 and the equation of the curve is also given. So here at the point where the slope is 2, for example, I'll tell you this is my curve and this is my tangent. Here at this point I am saying my slope is 2 for this particular curve at this point. Tangent slope is 2. Now I have to find the equation of this tangent. To find the equation of this tangent I know that I have this formula y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0. Correct. So I know the value of m that is 2. If I can find the value of y0 x0, my, my, I can find the equation. So here also, the first thing we have to do is we have to find the value of x0 and y0. 
once I have the value of x0, y0, I can very well find the equation. Just one step addition to the questions we have been doing till now. Till now we have been just finding the value of x0 and y0. Now we are going one step ahead. We are also finding the equation of the. So let's solve this. My equation is y is equal to 1 by x minus 3. Correct. Now let's find dy by dx because that is nothing but slope dy by dx at x is equal to x0. So that is nothing but if you differentiate the, this you will get something like this minus of 1 by x minus 3 whole square. And this value is given as to be and first thing you to find the value of x for which this is true. But if you notice this whole thing is positive, positive into negative is negative. So left hand side will always be a negative number and this guy is always positive. This is not possible. So value of x is not possible. So we can say that if we, we can't have a value of x for which this is true that means no such tangent exists. Correct? Because in this case, if you see, no such tangent exists. Because I could not find the value of x. There is no value of x, not y not for which this condition is true. Because for the finding the equation of the curve at this point, the first thing I told you, we had to find the value of x not y not. Once we have the value of x not y not, then only we can find the equation of the tangent. Since in this case, we found that it is not possible to find the value. So we say that there is no such tangent. Let's take one more similar question. Here we have to find the slope of line uh, or equation of all the lines having slope minus one that are tangent to the curve. This similar to the last question here. If you see here, this is my sum curve and I say that the slope of this tangent is minus 1. I have to find the equation of this line. To find the equation of this line, the first thing I told you to find the value of x0, y0 where this tangent is possible. And once we have x0, y0, I can use the formula y minus y0 is equal to m, that is slope of tangent into x minus x0. Here m is equal to minus 1. So let's find the value of x0 and y0. So we have done this a couple of times. So we know that slope of tangent at x is equal to x0 is equal to minus 1. And slope of tangent at x is equal to x0 is nothing but dy by dx at x is equal to x0. And that is nothing but minus 1. So let's find the value of dy by dx at x is equal to x0. So y is equal to 1 by x minus 1, my dy by dx will be nothing but minus 1 by x minus 1 square. Correct. And if you put now here x is equal to x0, this is equal to minus 1. Or this is nothing but minus 1 by x, I'll put x0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1. Correct. This is square actually. So minus minus cancel with this I get nothing but x0 minus 1 square is equal to 1 or, or 1 square you can say or x0 minus 1 is nothing but plus minus 1. So my x0 will be nothing but if you take plus 1 this becomes 1 plus 1 that is 2 or if you take this as minus 1 minus minus 1 cancel. So I have two values of x0, 0 or 2. In first case, I will take x0 as 0. If I take x0 as 0, y is nothing but 1 by x0 x minus 1, that is 0 minus 1, that is minus 1. So in this case, my values is 0 and minus 1. In second case, if I take x0 as 2, my y is nothing but 1 by x that is 2 minus 1 that is 1 by 1 that is 1 so 2 comma 1 
So I have two different points at which this is true. That means I have two different points somewhere in this curve actually. One point here and one point somewhere here maybe for which the slopes are minus one. Now I have to find the equations of these tangents. Correct. So since there are two places at which we have uh, two different tangents for which the slope is minus one, there will be two different tangents in this answer, right? So there are two. So we'll take case one. Case one where my x y is zero comma minus one. In this case, my equation of slope will be y minus minus y naught y minus y naught is equal to m that is minus one into x minus x naught that is zero. If you solve this, this becomes y plus one is equal to plus x is equal to zero. So this is my first equation, case one. If you take case two, where my x is two and y is one, same thing, y minus y naught that is one is equal to m that is minus one into x minus x naught that is two. So if you solve this, you get y minus one plus x minus two is equal to zero, or you get x plus y minus three is equal to zero. So I have got these two equations. These are the two equations I write here. x plus y plus one is equal to zero, and x plus y minus three is equal to zero. And for both these equations, if you see slope is minus one. So it will be something like this. If you want to visualize this, I'll show you. This is my some curve. Let's suppose like this. So this is one place and this is one place. So at both of these places, if you see my tangent r slope is minus one. So these are two equations of the tangent. This is how you can visualize this kind of thing. If this is my curve, let's suppose this is how it is. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.